What I want to show you today is the difference between regular digital pressure gauges and our Testo pressure gauge, the one I tell you to get. The Testo pressure gauge, if you look at it, if you set it on table, there are different ways of looking at different uh, things you can look at live, graphic, or table. You set it over on table, you can see every single second click by. Every second you're looking at it, click, it's like a what? Tick, 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 it ticks by, bottom left. And you can see, <laughs> you can see the, uh, thing clicking by. So you can see exactly where you're at every single second. That's why I say your 10 minute test is done. Unless it's leaking, uh, you can see a leak. And if you see a leak, well, the 10 minute starts over as soon as you see it going down. Okay, that means you got a leak. Uh, but if you don't see a leak, that's why your 10 minute test is done because it doesn't, didn't leak in 10 minutes. You got to see every single second of that 10 minutes and it's not leaking. All right. So anyway, but when you have a digital gauge like the Elotex that I showed the other day on another video, uh, and most other digital pressure gauges, they go by half PSI, not 10th PSI, a half PSI. And as, as I showed you, I'm about to show you in this video, we got to see it on the last video. I went, what the hell? It reminded me how stupid those things are. Uh, those things are a half PSI. 40 minutes could go by. 40 minutes could go by before you actually saw it click down if you happen to miss the click. If you didn't hit the click right when you turn it on, and you were waiting for it to have a slow leak, 40 minutes would go by before it clicked down. The thing goes from 295.5 to 296. It take, could take 40 minutes to get there. All right, so anyway, the point is uh, don't, don't use those. Use a Tesla pressure gauge, and I'll show you exactly why. You'll be able to clearly see it in the video. Um, then you would check it again. So the point is you could put it at... Um, did you see that 2.297, uh, 296.5? Look at that, 297. That's what half, that's why I always say I can't stand these gauges because it don't give you increments of every tenth. It gives you every half a PSI. So we didn't even know there was a change until it blinked over. Okay, four tenths went by the whole time, which is a complete mess, uh, as opposed to, that's why I love the Testo gauges. The Elotex sucks. All right, so, okay, I'm going to show you my Testo uh, pressure gauge reading now. It's 306.5. Look at the bottom left. That's the seconds clicking by. So we know that we're right on target here with 306.6. Uh, at uh, It's 107.5 degrees temperature inside the shed in the, in the shade. 107.5 in the shade. 107.5 Fahrenheit in the shade, sorry. And it's 306.7 for the R14A bottle. And over here we have another bottle, and I'll show you that in a second, but... So we're, we know we're at 